Well, hello. I feel like I sound like Mrs. Doubtfire when I say it like that. We're doing the 25 Creed more. So just for everybody on the internet, you can see there is nothing in the chamber there. Fingers in the chamber to prove that it's clear. And there is, of course, nothing in the magazine. There's the yellow follower. I felt inspired because it's 2025. I wanted to do something that was uh, gonna be a little bit different. And that manifested itself in the 25 Creed more. There is certainly a race to the bottom when it comes to the type of calibers that are out there. You've seen that in my videos already. And 25 Creed more might be in the ballpark there. From tip to butt, I have got a T-Bac uh, Ultra 9 suppressor on here. This 25 Creedmoor rifle is built by Horizon Firearms, which is out of Shiner, Texas. This particular rifle has some really beautiful flutes on the barrel. The stock ha has a nice feel to it, and the colors are great. Pretty traditional stock lines, although you do have more of like a pistol grip down here. The trigger brakes crisp and clean. I have added a Leupold VX6HD to it. This is a 6 to 24 power optic. We tried two different powders, very consistent, very stable. Plus, we also test N555. Now, I'm going to hop on my soapbox about Vitivori powders a little bit. They are a shorter extruded powder than uh, 4350 is and i think gavin on ultimate reloader does a really great video talking about this and looking at them under the microscope the bullet that we shoot in this one i think is going to be our hunting load for the year and it's these burger bullets here is the actual 25 caliber 133 grains they come in 100 count but they're the elite hunter bullets so one thing about the burger bullets is really interesting they are not as susceptible to jump as other bullet types are because of their ogive design so here's the bullet itself. If you've never had a box of burger bullets, it's really just beautiful. Uh, truly, they're so shiny. The meat plats are kind of mesmerizing a little bit. Those are the components that we tested. Some of the loads that are here, I, I kind of rushed through, but I do have them listed at the top there. So mind the bar on the right-hand side of your screen so you can see all the data. We'll come back and we'll talk some more about it. All right, 38.5 grains, 43.50. Vitivori in five, 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 third row down, third target, or first target.
All right, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I've got my handy dandy reloading notebook here. We started out really conservative. We wanted to make sure, number one, these were sort of the first shots out of this barrel. So I wanted to warm it up, get it broken in super well. And you can see in some of the data there, we actually found some interesting stuff, especially with group sizes. I didn't do my average group size here, but I bet if I had to measure it, we'd be somewhere around 0.8-ish inches. This does say that max for this particular bullet, if you've watched my six arc videos, you know that Burger is pretty conservative when it comes to load strength that they have. So we definitely need to model this in GRT. The top end with 4350, we're getting around 2,600 feet per second and about 2,000 foot pounds of energy. Our biggest group was about one and three quarter inches, but our standard deviation out of that group was 5.3 feet per second and our spread was 14.4. So those numbers fall well within the area we want them to. So we need to do some more testing with 4350. On the other side of the coin, we did N555, like I just showed you a minute ago, and those were equally interesting. In terms of performance, we started at 40 grains, we went up to 41.2. 42 was listed as max from the burger data. So again, we probably have some space to push that a little bit because our top load with N555 was 26.43, whereas our top load with 43.50 was 39.1 grains. So what's coming next? Some more testing out of the 133s. We've got some testing in some 101 grain LRXs. We've got some 110 grain ELDXs sitting on the shelf over here that we need to test. Also Hornady has released two different types of factory ammo for this. They've got an ELDM and an ELDX. My takeaways from this is that Horizon rifle, absolutely beautiful. It functions well, the action is so smooth. It is just truly a very high quality rifle. But if you're liking what you're seeing, please like the video, share it with a friend who doesn't know anything about load development. I would love to hear your thoughts below. Peace.